<clears throat> hey, my name is Jay, and welcome back to another Rick and Morty video. It's been ages, like one month, but it's been ages since I make I made a video for this channel. So uh, I want to welcome you guys to a new a new show, new segment I like to call Look Back. And today we'll be looking back at some old videos. Today's video is about why Jerry is needed in Rick and Morty. This was published uh, last year. We'll be talking about. Uh, the comment section because I still remember the videos I made so there's the pin comment I have I haven't read this in a long time so let's let's read it honestly I have to agree with you Jerry added some normalcy to the show Rick is hand training Morty to deal with what is really out there in the universe summer has Rick's sociopathic tendencies and Beth is so desperate for her father's approval that she is willing to let Morty just deal with the PTSD like nothing is wrong Jerry was just a normal guy who has to live next to the most dangerous man in the universe and sometimes that is just plain funny to watch him deal with who hasn't wanted their pets to be smarter or to improve at something you just suck at we can all connect to Jerry in some form or fashion now I know why I pinned this because this comment right here is actually there's there's so much truth to this you know in a family full of dysfunctional people jerry could be dysfunctional as well but not amongst the ranks of rick summer and uh, beth but in a family who is just plain different and then you mix jerry into a normal guy a normal guy who has no relation to rick whatsoever uh aside from being uh his father or being his son-in-law just a normal guy trying to live his life and rick's out here doing some wacky ass shit and he has to live with it and honestly the reason why i pinned this was because it like i said there's just so much truth to it and i agree with it so much jerry's just some normal guy trying to live life and that is why he's supposed to be there he he made people relate some people don't want to relate to him because oh look everybody makes fun of him nobody makes fun of me i'm 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 the best in the world what are you talking about but in reality people are most likely like jerry i'm like jerry my friends are like jerry everybody's like jerry bro and i'm you know sometimes you, you got to be proud of it sometimes you can be very upset about it you know but it's, but at the end of the day you can't deny the fact that <laughs> we're all jerry's in a way because all right tell me this once you build a spaceship and go like fuck some gazorpa zorps or some shit like that then tell me that you relate to rick or something like that all right i'm just saying this next comment right here is from ty Fisi. jerry just tries to protect his family because unlike rick he doesn't have infinite fa families he just got one and their sheer numbers of stray morty shows that rick is in real danger to his family again that's actually a really i don't, I don't know why i didn't heart that that's that there's a lot of truth to that too we we know rick have all this like infinite possibilities infinite reality shit you know yeah rick rick has many many uh families to go to jerry he just has one he has only one family to get to and he wants to protect them he doesn't know he he probably does know because of that jerry daycare but like he, pro he probably doesn't know about the other families or some shit like that you know there's probably a jerry that doesn't know about other families and rick can just replace he doesn't care he, he can just replace his his family like that he did it in uh, episode six of season one uh jerry however you know he doesn't have that accessibility to just Oh, you know what? My family's shit. I'm just going to go to another universe. He doesn't have that accessibility, you know? And even if he does, I feel like he's more... Because like, since he's like that normal guy in the show, he's going to be more connected towards the people or the people that he's he married. Or not the people he married. The person he married, which is Beth, and the people that he gave birth to. <laughs> oh my God, the right choice of words. And, and his children, his children, okay? He's going to be close to his children and his wife. I don't know why I didn't say it in the first place. Yeah, he's going to be close to those people. And you can't just, like, drop them and be like, oh, I'm going to go to another universe where technically I, I, I did marry Beth and, and have children named Summer and Morty, but, you know, technically they're not mine, but at the same time they are mine. You know, so it's like, it's just, I don't think for a normal person that'd be okay. And what he says here where he says that uh, Rick being a real danger to his family, yeah, all the stray Mortys, bro, like... <laughs> There's there's a lot of explanation to that, and honestly, uh, Jerry, Jerry being needed, be, this comment being related to the, my uh, video, he's needed because he, there has to be someone who's who's there to stand up to Rick, and you know, to show him that you know you can't just stop hopping around different dimensions, replacing their Ricks, you know, and then just going on your day, you know. And so I think that that's why Jerry needs to be there to not only be that antagonist. Uh, that stops him but to also further some more character development now here's a note there's here's here's a comment from somebody <laughs> here's a reason not to hate jerry if you were jerry would you want rick around hey hey that's all i'm just saying we are we're all jerry's right imagine imagine this right now like just pretend you're in jerry's shoes all right 
and this random ass guy just comes out of nowhere be like hey yo i'm the alpha male of this family now and then all his all his children like him you know and and beth is like more connected to him and you're like what the fuck bro like i'm just trying to have a family you know jerry being like some pussy or something like that okay but aside from that okay a normal guy being being that supportive dad or some shit like that you know would you want someone like rick around always taking away the children keeping morudi away from the family and then also uh influencing beth's decisions on some shit you know also causing that divorce he probably he unintentionally caused a divorce would you want that <laughs> would you, would anybody want that i i think you know yeah it's cool to watch it as a third person you know and just like oh that's pretty funny jerry's getting his ass beat haha <laughs> so funny but then when you're in his shoes you're like hey yo that's my wife and children bro you know you're like what the hell you know so i'm just i'm just saying i'm just saying all right so here's one from nick anderson all right i agree with everything you said but i don't think the show needs jerry anymore at least not in the way he was used in the first two seasons it seems to me that the rick versus jerry conflict has more or less been resolved with beth choosing rick over jerry i think that I think this has made room for a new character development in the show. For example, without Jerry standing next to her, it's easy to see his best weakness as a parent. It's also created room to show what's lying underneath Morty's awkward teenage boy exterior. As for Summer, this season we saw her go from a psychotic murder queen to worrying about her body image within the first half of the season. It raises the question of what's going on in her head. By the way, keep the good work and be sure to have a good day. Alright, so for the last line, thank you, Nick. Uh much love i this guy true supporter i actually also agree with this comment as well aside from agreeing with everybody who's agreed with my video uh i feel like he also nick puts a very he puts a very good explanation the first two seasons uh and then part of actually <laughs> the whole series of rick versus jerry uh that had the episodes that included rick versus jerry you know it's been played out you know i get it i understand that uh and i feel like at the same time though they could still play it out but not as frequent you know you can have some episodes where there's some tensions and some conflicts between rick and jerry but at the same time you know not oversaturated because that arc already has been played out you know it's it's there's no there's no point on to there's no point to uh further it you know what are you gonna have you know you already caused you already had like some sort of conflict in like season one season two was building up tensions and then season three was when the divorce actually happened and then what what's next you know you get remarried and they have another divorce and you know it's just like it's kind of like lazy writing you know so i think that uh, what he's trying to say you know I, I agree you know you can't play it you can't play out that rick versus jerry conflict uh anymore it's been like it's been played out you know you already see what's what's already happened without jerry so there could be more than just having rick versus jerry and I, honestly i agree with that to add on with that i don't want to add saying that jerry should just be an antagonist but i feel like he should be like some minor antagonist you know sh causing some conflicts like i said before you know causing some care like adding more character development to some characters by being like you know being that normal guy he's like realistic he's he showing realism to the family if he puts realism to their out of the man reality you can have jerry still all right but you can't like just have like the conflict you can't just have him always fighting with everybody else he's like the mega of the show and like you know how how many bits can you do with uh, Jerry being the punching bag until it gets old, you want you want Jerry you want Jerry to like move on to the next level. Like imagine if Jerry started being on par with Rick's mind, or at least with uh, Morty's mind or whatever. Like he started becoming like this out of this world person. I think that's what happened in one of the comics. But um, yeah, just imagine that. Definitely that comment was great. All right, so that is it for the video. I didn't really expect it to be this long, but uh, I just kept rambling about it. I guess I, it's just that you know. I, that 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 rick and morty post depression shit you know you missed it already but uh that that's all i gotta say but if you guys enjoyed this video then please make sure to comment down below and tell me that you do like it i think i'll do this for a majority of my videos since uh there really isn't any more content to take to like just further on I, looking back at old videos and then talking about like comments and shit i feel like that's also a good idea to uh to to explore so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to hit the like button if you guys want to see more rick and morty videos please hit the subscribe button and until then see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching my name is jay and i'll see you guys in another day peace